Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Learning Online and today in this video I am going to discuss about Gauss Elimination Method. There are basically two ways of solving any kind of numerical based upon the Gauss Elimination Method. First one is by creating the partial pivotal equation and second one is by using the creating the augmented matrix. So in this video I am going to show you how to solve any numerical in which we are asked to solve the given system of equation using the Gauss Elimination Method using the augmented matrix. So without any further delay let's get started. So students, let's begin the solution of this video and here we are provided with the three equa linear equations that is 2x plus 2y plus 4z equals to 18, x plus 3y plus 2z equals to 13, 3x plus y plus 3z equals to 14 and we are asked to solve the given system of equation using Gauss elimination method. So there are basically two methods, two ways of operating any equation, linear system of equations using the Gauss elimination method. First one is we can simply convert the given equations into augmented matrix and later we will solve solve the augmented matrix to find the value of x y and z and the second one is uh, we can use the power method to find the value of x y and z using the gauss elimination method so i will add video on both of these method one by one so in this video i am going to solve this numerical uh, using the uh, augmented matrix method so here is the here we go so right here solution and we will rewrite the given system of equation using the in the form of augmented matrix so we will have here simply copy the coefficients first so coefficient of this first equations uh, equation is 2 2 4 and uh, use to dot here and then 18 similarly the coefficient of second uh, equations equation are 1 3 2 and again 13 similarly here we have 3 1 3 and again 14 so close this now our target is to make this element as unity and we need to make the diagonal element as unity and the element lying below the diagonal main diagonal will be zero so we what we need to do you have to the element lying here 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 and as zero and we need to convert this two three and three as one so first of all i am going to uh, re interchange this first row and second row you uh, i hope you know row means horizontal and column means vertical okay so we need to if we interchange these two then we will automatically have the first element a11 as one so i'm going to do the same thing here so r1 interchange r2 we have interchanged the uh, row one and row two so i'm going to write the elements on after interchanging we will have one three two is to 13 similarly two two four and 18 now the third row is as it is 1 3 3 and 14 so now we will need to do the operations now so first thing we need to do is we have to convert this 2 to 0 and this 3 to 0 so how we can convert this 2 to 0 if we multiply this first row by 2 and then if we subtract then it will get converted to 0 what i said r2 implies r2 minus 2 times r1 we are multiplying the element of r1 with with 2 and subtracting it from the element of r2 okay our next operation is going to be this let me write this step here below this so what i said r2 implies r2 minus 2 times r1 we are not doing any operation in r1 so write the element of r1 as it is so we have here 1 3 2 and 13 and this r2 means 2 2 minus 2 times r1 is going to be 0 similarly here we will have uh, minus 4 
and uh, here we will have 0 on solving on following the step similarly here we have r2 means 18 minus 2 times uh, 13 is going to be minus 8 again we have to convert this 3 to also 0 so r3 implies r3 minus 3 times r1 this time we are multiplying the element of r1 with with 3 and then we are subtracting it from r3 so this element will get 0 similarly we have 1 minus 3 times 3 1 minus 9 is going to be minus 8 similarly we have minus 3 and again we have minus 25 now we have to convert the element of diagonal element to unity so what we will do we will multi multiply this uh, we will divide this r2 by 4 minus 4 so i am going to write here r2 implies r2 multiply by minus 1 by 4 it means we are dividing the element of r2 so on doing so we will have here 1 3 2 and 13 0 1 0 and minus 8 minus 8 divided by minus 4 we will get 2 and the element of r3 is going to be written as it is so 0 minus 8 minus 3 and minus 25 now our next target is to make this element to as 0 and this minus 3 as unity so how we can do this if we multiply this r2 by minus 8 and then if we do addition then it will get converted into 0 what i said we I'm sorry we we need to multiply this element by 8 and then we will add it to this then it will get converted to 0 because it is already minus 8 and if we add another 8 then it will get converted into 0 so simply multiply this uh element 1 by means the element of raw 2 by 8 and then do addition it will get converted to 0 so what we will have here uh, i hope i'm going to use this space here so i'm going to write here r2 implies sorry we are doing operation in r3 so r3 implies r3 plus 8 times r2 and we are not doing any operation in r1 and r2 so simply write the elements of r1 and r2 as it is so we will have here 1 3 2 and 13 0 1 0 and 2 so uh, multiply the element of r3 r3 is 0 plus 8 times 0 it will get converted into 0 so here we have minus 8 plus 8 times 1 is going to be 0 we have here minus 3 minus 3 plus 8 times 0 is minus 3 e equals is 2 and we will ha have here minus 9 now we will do one more operation that will be to convert this element to unity so we will have here uh, r3 implies r3 times minus 1 by 3 we, we are multiplying the element of r3 by minus 1 by 3 so we will have here 1 3 2 13 0 1 0 2 0 0 1 and minus 9 by minus 3 is going to be 3 so now equating we will have here equating means we have uh, z equals to 3 we have uh, if we rewrite this equation if we form the equation out of these elements so first equation is going to be x plus 3y plus right here now x plus 3y plus 2z equals to 13 okay and y plus 0 times z equals to 2 so we have z equals to 2 y equals to 2 and we have uh, z equals to 3 so we have z equals to 3 y equals to 2 so on substituting the value substituting substituting the value of y and z in equation 1 let this be equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 so substituting the value of y and z y and z in equation 1 we will have here x plus 
थ्री टाइम्स टू प्लस टू टाइम्स थ्री इक्वल्स टू थर्टीन सो ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस वी विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज वन सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई एक्स इक्वल्स टू वन वाई इक्वल्स टू टू and z equals to 3 are our final answer and i hope you understood this method see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and if you guys find this video helpful then do share this video with your friends